Duo Fish. Throughout your life, things such as aging, disease, accidents, and even global cataclysms can cease what little time you have on this planet, and those problems apply to every living being that we know of. But what living things have survived continually on planet Earth for the longest amount of time? Keep in mind that we are talking about continually living things. That means things that are alive today that have never stopped their biological functions and weren't ever revived. Number 15. Elephant Island Moss. Elephant Island is a 215 square mile speck of land located just off the Antarctic Peninsula and houses a moss species that has been dated to be 5,500 years old. The moss isn't exactly spectacular to look at, but the scientists who first dated it in 1987 were certainly excited with their discovery. Elephant Island itself actually has a rather exciting story of survival as well. In 1915, Ernest Shackleton and his crew of 27 men ironically lost their ship Endurance when it collided with the sea ice and sank, leaving the men stranded on ice. The crew navigated the floating ice and managed to reach Elephant Island on foot, where they would survive on penguins and elephant seals, using seal blubber for fire and their skin for additional shelter. Shackleton, knowing that there was no chance of rescue, sailed an open lifeboat with five of his crew 800 miles to reach South Georgia where he knew a whaling station was located after 16 days of sailing frozen waters. Four months later and after four attempts, Shackleton finally managed to rescue the rest of his crew. Of course, none of them knew that they were spending time around some of the oldest living things on the planet, but that was probably the last thing on their minds. Number 14. Mila Mali Eucalyptus. Also known as Eucalyptus phylactus, Mila Mali is a clonal tree, meaning that it can clone itself and grow new trees through its root system. The tree colony has been around for 6,600 years, though each tree that grows from the roots only lives for about 100 years or so. This may seem like cheating, but you have to think of the tree as a giant underground organism, with each tree acting like a branch of a much larger tree. That makes this colony of trees located in southwestern Australia one of the oldest living things on the planet. If you've seen our video covering the topic of the oldest ordinary objects, you'd also know that this tree predates the oldest chair that we know of. It predates chairs! Yeah, still upset about that. Number 13. Box Huckleberry. The box huckleberry is a small shrub related to the blueberry that nearly went extinct in the last ice age, but just managed to hold on. The very first estimates about the shrub placed it around 13,000 years old, but later studies placed it around 8,000 years old. This huckleberry produces tasteless edible fruit and is found dotted around East Central North America. By the way, this is another species of plant that can clonally reproduce itself through the root system, but can also reproduce by pollination. Too bad the few remaining plants alive today are located tens of miles from each other, meaning that pollination is almost impossible. So yes, once again, one of the oldest living plants is clonal, as the oldest individual is found in Pennsylvania living in someone's backyard property. The entire colony was originally 100 acres wide and one mile long, but reconstruction of Route 22 and a fire have destroyed much of it. Number 12. Norway Spruce Fulu Mountain National Park in Sweden is home to the oldest spruces in the world. The oldest spruce here is nicknamed Old Chico after the discoverer's dog and has been carbon dated to be 9,950 years old. Looking at the tree, you can see what looks to be a single spindly trunk with a bush surrounding it, but you're actually looking at the entire spruce. It wasn't until the 1940s when the temperatures on the mountain began warming up that Old Chico's small trunk began growing much larger. Until then, it had simply lived as a bush-sized tree. Unlike other clonal trees, this spruce and its branches stay very close together and has been regrowing in the same small area since nearly 8000 BC. The trunk itself will only live for around 600 years before dying, but the root system will eventually sprout another. Number 11. Antarctic Elephant Sponge Remember that news headline about scientists accidentally killing the world's oldest animal a few years ago? Welp, those headlines were completely false. 
The 507-year-old clam was certainly accidentally killed and was the oldest clam found thus far, but it wasn't even close to the oldest living animal on the planet. In the cold wasteland of Antarctica, underneath the ice and seawater at temperatures below freezing lives a creature with no brain or nervous system. Ancient elephant sponges were found in Antarctic waters after the Larsen ice shelf disintegrated for the first time. They can grow to be the size of a minivan, and some have estimated that a few specimens may be over 10,000 years old, making them the oldest animals on the planet. It should be noted that they have not yet been carbon dated and are instead estimated to be 10 millennia old by observing their slow growth. You see that? Basic fact checking, unlike those clickbait news articles. Number 10. Huan Pine. Tasmania is a large island located directly south of Australia and is home to a variety of colorful plants and animals. But on Mount Reed, near the western coast of Tasmania, an enormous ancient plant species grows. The Huan Pine, known as Lagaro strobos franklinii, is a slow-growing tree which is capable of clonal growth. But unlike other clonal trees, each individual trunk that grows can live up to 2,000 years alone. This specific clonal tree is male, extends for hundreds of acres, and has been dated to be 10,500 years old. However, the trees lay on top of a private mining site and are very difficult to gain access to. Luckily, other trees of the same species are present elsewhere in Tasmania and Australia and are hardy enough to survive quite well without human protection. Number 9 Creosote Bush at around the same time humans first began agricultural practices, this bush in California had just begun growing from a seed. Since then, this single plant has grown for 11,700 years and continues propagating outwards in a ring formation today. This ancient, clonally reproducing creosote bush nicknamed King Clone lives within the center of the Mojave Desert in Lucerne Valley, California. Creosote is actually incredibly fragile when young and won't reach the age to clonally reproduce unless weather conditions are optimal for a few years. Creosote has also been used as a medicinal plant by Native Americans for centuries and is associated with the smell of rain for those who live near the Mojave. Number 8 Antarctic Beach Once again, we look to Australia to see another ancient species of tree, this time ending up in Queensland. These tall trees have individuals estimated to be over 6,000 years old and up, but one group of trees connected to the same root system has been calculated to be 12,000 years old. Antarctic beech grows in high altitudes in cool areas of New South Wales, and most of the trees have yet to have been dated, so it's entirely possible that even older specimens may be found. You may be confused to learn that these trees earn their name because they are native to Antarctica. Nearly 100 million years ago, at a time when Antarctica was much warmer, Antarctic beaches were just starting to propagate while land connected Antarctica to Australia and South America. Though there are no more trees found left in Antarctica, their progeny can still be found alive and well today. Number 7 Mojave Yucca And once again we return to the Mojave Desert in California to find another clonally reproducing hardy plant. The Mojave Yucca is rather common in the Mojave and is sometimes grown as a backyard plant in many places because of its hardiness. However, 12,000 years ago, what is thought to be the oldest ring of clonally reproducing yucca first sprouted. Yucca is another plant that has frequently been used as a source for food, medicine, and rope by Native Americans. Luckily, this small ring of ancient yucca has survived drought, desert rats, and humans for over 12,000 years. I also found it interesting to learn that the dried stock that is left over after the yucca flowers can be used as a makeshift didgeridoo. Number 6 Rare Eucalyptus Yeah, the name sounds stupid, I know. But you'll be happy to know that Rare Eucalyptus is not actually the name of the plant. It's just a placeholder because we're not authorized to know the actual name. There are hundreds of species of eucalyptus, but this one is critically endangered with only five individuals known which are estimated to be 13,000 years of age. Located on private mining land, the sight of these rare trees is kept secret, though even if it wasn't a secret, the trees themselves would be rather difficult to spot. They grow both clonally and by seeding, but the trees remain apparently difficult to germinate. 
Although we can't visit the location in New South Wales, Australia, I suppose we can at least be glad that steps have been taken to protect this rare tree. Number 5 Palmer's Oak Sorry that we keep going back and forth between Australia and California, but apparently clonal trees really like those two areas. Only discovered in 1999 and its age confirmed in 2009, the 13,000 year old Palmer's Oak nicknamed the Jarapa Oak is found in the Jarapa Mountains in Riverside County, California. 13,000 years is the minimum age of this small shrub-like oak, and the tree could actually be twice that age. Clonal reproduction kept this small tree alive through 1,000 years of the last ice age, wildfires, and drought. Though there is fear that the most recent drought in California may end the tree's 13,000 year living streak. We should also recognize the fungus growing on the tree's roots, which help it uptake nutrients from an environment it would have died in if living alone a long time ago. Number 4 Tasmanian Lomatia Lomatica tasmanica describes just one individual specimen left growing in southern Tasmania making it an incredibly endangered plant species which has been given the nickname King Lomatia. Once again, we're looking at a clonally reproducing plant, but this one is something incredibly special. It's a sterile plant that just refuses to stop clonally reproducing. When I say sterile, I mean that its ancestor 43,600 years ago produced a seed with a genetic disorder that would usually spell the end of the line for any plant and death for animals. This plant has chromosomes in pairs of three, making it a triploid. But because of its ability to grow new individuals from branches that fall from the plant, it continues to reproduce asexually. The age of the plant was only determined thanks to fossilized leaf fragments that were carbon dated but the plant may be up to 135,000 years old. You may be happy to learn that attempts to propagate the plant have been successful, so hopefully the mutant King Lamatia can stay around for millennia to come. Number 3 Quaking Aspen South Central Utah is home to what could be the oldest plant on the planet, depending on how you estimate its age. Pando which is Latin for I spread, is a single male quaking aspen with over 40,000 trunks sprouting from the 106 acre wide root system. It is estimated to be 80,000 years old based on both fossil and geographic information, though some have thrown out estimates as high as 700,000 years in age. Not only is Pando one of the oldest continually living organisms on the planet, but it is also the heaviest. It weighs an estimated 6,000 tons when taking into account all of its trunks. Pando is not currently protected and has sustained some damage by human presence in the area. But hopefully, Pando will receive the protection and recognition it deserves for being a survivor in the coming years. Number 2 Neptune Grass Well, at least this plant isn't one that's found on land. Neptune grass is native to the Mediterranean Sea and forms huge underwater meadows that many fish and other sea life calls home. Just south of Ibiza, an enormous colony of seagrass was discovered on the seafloor, reaching over 8 kilometers in length. The colony is, once again, a clonally reproducing plant species that is estimated to be 100,000 years old, making it the oldest plant species on Earth if you ignore the high estimates for Pando and King Lamatia. 100,000 years ago, modern-day human ancestors had just begun exploring lands outside of Africa. This colony of Neptune grass was around for that, though it probably didn't see much from the sea floor. Well, I doubt it sees much at all considering its lack of eyes. Number 1 Siberian Actinobacteria Most of you should already know that the first forms of life on Earth were bacterial in form. So I suppose it shouldn't be too much of a surprise that the 400,000 to 600,000 year old actinobacteria found in Siberian permafrost is the oldest continually living thing that we know of. In the frozen northern reaches of Siberia, near the Kolyma Basin, you can find some of the most inhospitable land in the world. It's continually freezing in the area with meters of permafrost under the ground. It was in this environment that the ancient species of actinobacteria was found. 
Now, remember how I stipulated at the start of the video that we are only covering the oldest continually living things? Sure, there have been ancient bacteria that have been found in a type of suspended state that was later revived, but their cellular functions had basically ceased. However, this actinobacteria has been functioning and repairing damaged DNA even in the subarctic environment and has been doing so at least 200,000 years before the first Homo sapiens appeared. These actinobacteria were discovered through sheer luck and a hunch, so just imagine what other living things will be discovered in the years to come. Till next video, hey do!